I just want to show you this electrical loom and wiring system for the Vire 12. So you've got a easy control panel. It's got a charge warning lamp. You've got a 12 volt button which puts the choke on this for Vire 12. And then you've got a press button for stopping. So basically you turn it on, you should get a red light which tells you the ignition's ready to go. Um, if you're cold starting, you press this button in, but I've warm started this engine. You go to the next position and it will start the engine. You'll see here it's currently stopped. And um, here we go. So that's good. And that red light should go dim or out. When you want to stop the engine, you just press the stop button. The red light will come up. That's just to warn you, you've left the ignition on. So turn it off. You can take the key out. You might want to get a spare one cut of those before it gets lost. Um, so it's as simple as that. And I'll show you the charging is working. Let's get it running again. So you'll see the charging. If I give this a rev, So that's about seven amps at anything other than idle, it's exactly what you want. And uh, don't worry if it flickers on idle, it should be just about equilibrium. So that'll go out when it's doing positive charging at any sort of revs, that's it. Stop there, turn the ignition off, job done. And the way that I've wired this, I'll, I'll label up all the colours in case you want to disconnect this to mount it. So I'll send some photographs as well. And you've got the charge regulator here, which is all tested fine. You've got the um, Bosch, these both Bosch units. There's the Bosch starting solenoid. And um, if you lose the key or an emergency, you can just put a spanner between these two big contacts, which will crank it round. And uh, so that's easy. Um, and then it goes up to here, you've got the big connector for the starting terminal. You've got um, Earth is black, white is DF, and brown is the one on the end, which is D+. And then this yellow one, which has um, got writing on it, this is for your 12 volt choke solenoid. Um, not to be confused with other yellow ones which haven't got writing on it. So I've just put that wire in brand new for you. So that's uh, actually a 2.6 metre length in total. So it should be easily enough for what you need on the boat. Any problems, let me know. Okay.